First, take a small flat blade screwdriver and pry out the center plastic at each end like so. Once you've disconnected the three corners, you can lift and pull the center piece toward you to remove it. Then disconnect the horn wires. Now we're going to remove the lock nut from the center of the steering wheel. Once you have the lock nut removed, you can line up your puller tool with these two holes in the steering wheel. Using the included bolts, attach the tool to the steering wheel, then snug the tool down with an Allen wrench. Now insert the large bolt into the threaded hole in the center of the tool. As you turn this bolt to the right, it will push against the shaft in the center, which will pull the steering wheel toward you. Notice that the steering wheel moves toward you with every turn. Once you can turn the bolt by hand, you can easily remove the steering wheel. This is how it will look with the steering wheel removed. This is what the Assault Hub Adapter looks like from every angle. Feed the horn wires through the hole of the hub adapter, then center the hub adapter to the splines on the shaft. Reinstall the steering wheel nut and tighten it to the factory torque specs. Take the small male side of the quick release and position it with the NRG logo facing up. Connect the wires from the hub adapter. You'll need to use the included male to male wire adapter to connect one of the wires. Once you have the wires tucked away inside the hub adapter, you can bolt on the male portion of the quick release. This is what the male end of the quick release should look like bolted on. Notice these copper contact points. Make sure yours looks like this. Since I made the choice to bolt the Assault steering wheel to the NRG quick release, I had to make two wire adapters, one male to female and one female to female. It's not a difficult thing to do, but it's not included because the Assault steering wheel and NRG quick release are not sold together as a kit. If you buy an NRG steering wheel from slingmods.com, the included male to female adapter works perfectly. The Assault steering wheel will also connect directly to the Assault hub adapter, but again, since I'm retrofitting different parts together, I made my own adapters and it was less than a few dollars. If you're going to do the same thing, be sure to use some sort of rubber boot, shrink tube, or electrical tape over the connectors. If they incidentally touch each other after you install it, it'll automatically sound your horn. Constant horn sounds fun at first, but it gets old pretty quick. Place your wires between the quick release and the steering wheel so that you can bolt them together. Now bolt the quick release to the steering wheel with the NRG logo facing up. Notice the two copper contact points inside the quick release. Those contact points should line up with the contact points on the other side of the quick release that we already installed. If they don't, it's wrong and your horn won't work. Now you should simply be able to attach your steering wheel by pushing it on the other side of the quick release. Here's a view from the top. Notice this button at the top of the quick release. To remove the steering wheel, just push the button, squeeze the quick release and steering wheel together, and pull the wheel toward you. 
Then when you're ready to put it back on, just push. All right guys, we removed our stock steering wheel. We installed the Assault hub adapter along with the Assault D-shaped flat bottom steering wheel along with the NRG quick release. Be sure to watch the full review on these products if you want my thoughts on them. And if you think these products are right for you, you'll find them at slingmods.com. Come on, say it.